today we're off to the Eagle Mountain Fire Lookout. Here's the trailhead sign. You can see not much of a parking lot here. It's uh, a bit busy, rough turnaround area, but you can definitely make it work. We're just starting our hike now up Eagle Mountain Pass. It's about a 14K drive up. Uh, about kilometer nine, so it's getting pretty rough. Not recommended for cars. There's quite a few other people here. number of vehicles so parking will be limited hopefully it works out well and, uh, we're joined by my buddy John oh, Jesus. the road's pretty good I think 110 kilometers from Vernon just past Sycamore if you're heading east on highway 1 and you get to crazy Creek hot springs you've gone too far <laughs> it's a rough corner off the uh, north side of the road pretty good the first kilometer is quite steep and then it relatively flattened out a bit it is 14 kilometers long some of the uh, water bars start at 9k so you might need to put it in four-wheel drive just so you don't chew up the road and uh, and then climb your way up a bit aggressive a bit grown in a lot of erosion I don't know if I'd recommend it for cars <laughs> we come across this thing it's called the the hogweed, I believe. Uh, the sap of it is quite poisonous. It'll give you blisters. So try to avoid touching that if you can, because it's not that awesome. We've had it on us. It's pretty rough. This trail again, it's lined with lots of lots of wildflowers. Really quite nice and scenic. Bit overcast today. This hail it does, the trail does start quite steep and it continues steep. I think it's 3.9 kilometers long and I believe 890 meter elevation change. So it is a bit of a grind, a little harder, a little rough, but uh, well worth it. You get above the tree line halfway up, some really amazing views. Definitely worth the effort continue up that valley it takes you to Twin Lakes a lot of Twin Lakes out there but there's another one over there we're gonna be looping around this mountain peak and then, uh, up the same kind of a face like that it's gonna be great I don't remember the starting elevation but the total elevation is about 890 meters I think the top is 20 23 40 or something like that so we can do the math. I'll get some more information on it. I'll put in the links at the bottom of the uh, the video here. We're bringing along John Naylor, our Australian friend. So <laughs> saw him ten years ago when we were on his sailboat. He lived on a sailboat in the Whit Sundays, cruising around. So a little reunion. Forty-five minutes in, we sort of catch up to a creek off to the right here, and then. Uh, Here's the divide. Twin Lakes that way. This is where we're going. Eagle Pass. Just opened up this clearing and it's just laced with wildflowers. Just full of them. All living colors. Red, yellow, blues, white, purples. There's a bit of stinging nettle embedded in there. Some hogweed. Big potpourri of excitement. Just kind of around the corner, just pop through the tree line now. Really good views. Still a bit overcast. Probably a bit far away if you see in the camera. Lots of glaciers in there, Rogers Pass area. I don't know the names of them, but I'm sure they all have them. <laughs> through this valley, wide open. You can see up in the top there, not sure if you can see it. You can see the fire hut. Really amazing. Just 
on the final section we're going up past a bit of snow amazing views definitely uh, a steep rocky bit though maybe not for the faint of heart but it's always rewarding at the summit just kind of around the corner and there's the hut Mr. John Naylor leading the way Australian Officially higher than the tallest peak in Australia right now. I think we're sitting like 24, 2400 meters. I think it's 2430 or something, yeah. Probably the tallest in Australia is like 22. Oh, it's not on. Perfect views. You sleep up here. Oh, they got bunk beds in there now. Amazing up here. into the fire lookout now. It's got four basic bunk beds. And uh, views out every window, a nice big wooden stove. Not much woods, you want to bring up your own stuff if you plan on using that, but I imagine a gas stove would be the best way to go. Yeah, if you had to stay here, you could. Be pretty deadly. Here's the top, you see the cabin in the background. Really pretty spectacular views. Overcast today, you can see rain off the sides. Yeah, lots of lakes and snow patches in the back. You can see another cabin over there. I'm not sure how you get there or what it's used for, but either way. Here's a nice uh, surveying pin. Yeah, the hike itself, I believe it is 3.9 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. Top elevation, 30, or sorry, 2,430 meters, I believe. Uh, it took us two and a half hours, casual, casual pace, not too many breaks, but uh, it's definitely a steep climb. Climbing almost 900 meters in uh, four kilometers is a good incline for sure. Well worth it, I would recommend it. The views are spectacular, lots of marmots everywhere. A little busier here than we thought. And uh, definitely take advantage of the areas. The last pitch, it is quite steep. They have a rope in one section for going down. If you're not very confident in your feet, that might not be the best hike this one, but uh, if you get a chance for sure. It's a great way to get up in the alpine above the tree line. Enjoy some amazing views, lots of glaciers in the distance. Take advantage of it whenever you can. It doesn't get much better than this. 